Bob Thomas, superintendent of Knox County Schools. And thank you for being here this morning. It's an exciting time for all of us in Knox County as we get ready to start class on Monday, August the 5th. So we're looking forward to our students uh, arriving safely at school on Monday morning. And we hold this press conference uh, every year. And the reason we do it is to reinforce a simple message. And that is, please be careful. When a new school year begins, the roads can be congested more so than usual, and some drivers might get distracted with the hustle and the bustle of a new routine. So again, just to remind everyone to please be careful. Whether it's a parent in the drop-off line, a commuter on their way to work, or a driver who's sharing the road with the school bus, we're asking Knox County residents to remember that the safety of our students is everyone's responsibility. I'm very pleased to be joined by our school security division, the Knox County Sheriff's Office, and the Knoxville Police Department. And we'll hear some specific remi reminders from them in just a moment. But as superintendent, I'd like to emphasize one thing, one thing for Monday, and that's to please take it slow. There will be lots of parents, students, and buses navigating the streets on Monday morning. And when folks get in a rush, they sometimes get careless. However, if we all build a little extra time into our schedule and exercise a little bit of caution, that will go a long way towards keeping our students safe. So again, just a reminder, uh, go slow, obey all the rules in school zones, and uh, just, just take caution and, and, and make sure that we keep all of our students safe every day. And having said that, I'll turn the, the mic over to uh, Gus Pedusis, who is our chief uh, of our uh, Knox County School Security Division. Thank you. Good morning. There, there's three points I'd like to make this morning. Number one is the relationship and the partnership that Knox County Schools and our security division has with our law enforcement partners. Both KPD, the police department, as well as KCSO, our sheriff's office, continues to be very strong, and it grows stronger each day. And so collectively, we will be able to, to do everything we can to be sure our kids and our staff are safe in our schools, and, and each day is just what it should be, a wonderful day in school and secondly uh, today we deployed 102 school security officers in every school inside our district and these include 22 new officers that just graduated Monday night and so we have a full complement of officers that that are ready to serve our kids and serve our community and so we're we're excited about the new school year and our 102 officers started their deployment this morning uh, and then the third point I'd like to make is deals with bus safety. Uh, probably the quickest, fastest reminder that we'll all have on Monday is that, uh, that school is back in session is we'll see the buses. And so please remember that if our buses are stopped loading or unloading children and that stop arm is out, you must stop and watch for those children coming and going and, and getting on that bus as well as getting off the bus. Remember if the stop arm is out and they are stopped and loading or unloading, if you are traveling in the same direction as that bus, you do not pass the bus. And if you are traveling in the opposite direction of that bus when they stop, load, unload children and put the stop arm out, then unless that highway or roadway is physically divided by a barrier, then you must stop as well. So pay attention to these buses, pay attention to, to kids getting on and off. And, Last year we had a great enforcement partnership with our Sheriff's Office and our Police Department and we continue uh, to follow through with that initiative this year. So now it's my pleasure to introduce Chief Lyon, the Chief Deputy of the Knox County Sheriff's Office. Thanks for coming. We encourage each of one of you on behalf of Th Sheriff Tom Spangler to slow down when you see a yellow flashing light in our school zones. Our officers will be enforcing speed limits in every school in Knox County, so please slow down for us. Uh, I'd like to introduce Chief Miller. I'm Def Deputy Chief Kenny Miller with the Knoxville Police Department, and of course I'd like to thank Knox County Schools and the staff here at Will Springs Middle School for having us out. Uh, it's always a good opportunity to you know, reinforce our commitment to safety for our children and what we'll be doing this year. As the school begins, as school begins this year, next Monday uh, for Knox County, um, we'll be joining all of our law enforcement pa partners in the county as well as the school system to ensure that we make a concerted effort uh, to enforce all traffic laws in and around schools. We want to make an impression to drivers uh, that we will not be tolerating uh, poor driving decisions, distracted driving, speeding, uh, or disregarding school bus stop signs 
uh, during school time. So we want to make sure that we send that message clear. Along those lines, I would also like to remind everybody that in the state of Tennessee, we have a new distracted driving law that took effect in July 1 of, of this year. So just last month, it's a brand new law. Uh, the new law states that uh, you can't hold a cell phone or support a cell phone with any, body, with any part of your body while driving. So what that means is you can't be driving down the road holding your cell phone. The cell phone can't even rest on your leg. Uh, so it has to uh, be somewhere. It can't be contacting the body. Um, if you're over 18 years of old and 18 years of age and you need to use your cell phone, uh, you can use a Bluetooth type device. Uh, and that's what we would certainly encourage all drivers to do. It's the safest way uh, to utilize a cell phone while driving. And of course, if you're under 18, you can't use a cell phone at all while you're driving. So. Uh, that's for people only over 18. Under this new law, if you need to use your GPS, uh, you must place the phone in a mount on your windshield or your console uh, or somewhere on your car uh, that doesn't obstruct your view of the road, uh, that, you can be, that you can actually observe the phone from, uh, but it can't be in your system. It's got to be in that mount. Uh, and as I think it goes without saying, but drivers can't text, uh, send, or receive text uh, messages to include emails. So there won't be any of that allowed on the road anymore either. And uh, one thing we want to also emphasize, and this law addresses, is you can't reach for your phone. If your phone slips into the floorboard, slides under your seat, uh, you can't reach for the phone in such a manner that it causes you to come out of a safely seated position or come out of your seatbelt restraint. So you've got to stay in those two positions if you want to pick up a phone that's fell over or whatever. Uh, so you can't uh, do that in those circumstances. So stay seated and don't be crawling all over your car while you're driving to pick up a, a cell phone. This also makes it illegal to watch a video or movie on a cell phone. And it's also illegal to record videos uh, on your cell phone while you're driving. You know, we see a lot of that online where people film certain things as they're driving down the road. Uh, that will no longer be allowed. So those are the really, that's the crux of the law that, that everybody needs to be aware of. One thing that we want to emphasize too at this point in time is we don't want driver's distractions to, to become someone else's disaster. Uh, we don't want to destroy others because we're distracted. And I think, especially around school zones with children, families, I think that's very important. Uh, so that's all I have to say. Thank you. <clears throat>